Special shout out to my members and patrons Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlow, The Hellraiser, Harrington, I Am Beast, Jelly Beams, Call Me Yumi, Jim Bones, MDS84ZA, Balalco, and Kilabunnies264 for your amazing support. Members and patrons get shout outs on all my videos, get access to a private Discord channel, and access to my Seminus that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Seminus that I War of the Walkers mod. This can give us one of those HD or, um,. Will that give us anything new? I think these ones give you the eco. Which ones give you the HD ones again? Trucks and buses and stuff, right? The HD one or the red one. I don't know, don't know if they're tungsten or whatever. No, they're called HD, I think. Yeah, this is HD. Uh, if it's in tool format, it's tungsten. This is eco, but it's made out of steel, uh, like the steel ones. Okay, so yeah, we need to go for the trucks and buses to get the HD ones. And for the eco ones, we just have to go for uh, sports cars. And then for normal engines and batteries and stuff, you just go for these normal vehicles. Technically, should either on my drone... I wonder if I shouldn't put all the vehicle stuff on my drone. Or on my, on my NPCs, I mean. And we have to go that way. I want to arrange all of these vehicles so badly. You know what? While we... Uh, let's just do it. NPCs will go- Oh, I don't think we've done this one before. There's loot underneath of here. I wonder if I shouldn't go for it quickly. My game stage level and everything is much higher, so the loot downstairs is going to be way better. Only problem is the zombies downstairs are going to be way tougher as well. I'll make sure I dump all the stuff in my NPCs first. Because my NPCs are too dumb to follow me downstairs. Look at all these sleepers up here. And most of them are feral. NPCs, you can handle them, right? I say, but as soon as I see their HP go too low, I'll go help them out. Okay, the crowbar, I'm guessing, is better than the axe, right? Well, this is a legendary axe. Well, just now a zombie was hitting me. Yeah, we definitely not clear this, guys. We are playing with loot respawn off. So the fact that loot respawn is off and this stuff has looted means we haven't been here yet. Hey, go for those zombies, not for me. Oh, no, go for the NPCs. Uh, zombies, not for me. Oh, I just realized the one's, uh, one's NPC is called Ratchet. I wonder if she uses a Ratchet instead of a Shank. Um, or if <laughs> she's just Ratchet. She's just a little bit tough. Did I loot the previous truck just now? Oh, Tungsten Axe, nice. I need to see which is better, the, the yeah, red tungsten axe or the legendary one. Okay, now the vehicles are gone, let's just try dumping stuff. Stuff that can stack. Engines. Okay, now other stuff. I should probably see stuff that can't, uh, that, that does stack. We should keep with us. And only stuff that can't stack we should put in here for now. Because we might get these things downstairs as well. And we can always just put them on our um, vehicle. Or on our drone, I mean, if we really needed space. These things are fully stacked out, so we'll keep them, yeah? NPC, you are bothering me. When they do that, I'm so afraid that it's going to get stuck like that. What the hell? What are you trying to kill? I need to make sure they don't get stuck on anything right now. So if they're stuck on something, pick it up. Let them uh, let them through. Let them actually have some fun. Okay, so that's a full stack. Anything that's a full stack can go in here easily. Technically that as well. We have 15, 18 locked. The rest, I should probably try and put some stuff in here as well. Uh, we're not going to really get any car parts in there. We're also not going to get any spark plugs or crankshafts in there. Okay. Then we can actually fill you up as well. Okay, NPCs, I know you can't follow me downstairs, so let's just first let you help up here. Oh, wow, they're all feral. Which means that's what I'm going to expect downstairs. You can see this is survivalist difficulty. It's definitely harder. Survivalist is definitely harder than uh, warrior. 
I need any of that. We do have some ATMs over here. Thank you. Okay, last thing that we're going to drop on a, a vehicle and we're going to go downstairs into these bunkers. I wonder if I make a hole whether the zombies will be able to follow me easier. I want them to go, uh, go down here with me. But the tunnels do get constricting and like you have to crawl through stuff and all that. So if I go and I make it so they can get through easier, will they make it through? I'm not going to go for like empty cans and stuff like that. I'm only going to go for zombies, the loot they drop, and the final stashes. Where am I going right now? Looks like I'm going in circles. How do you guys not wake up from all that noise just now? Am I wearing like HD level boots and clothing pieces and stuff so I'm not making noise or what's going on? Because these zombies are not seeing me right now. In this area has to wake up all of them, come on. Damn, they're coming from the back as well, so let's clear this place fast. Where are they coming from right now? Master, we are not alone. I think this is one of the main rooms that I just woke up. Okay. Technically, I could use a Molotov or two of you, but that shouldn't be necessary. Step back. easier when they're running in a straight line, although there are so many hills and mounds and stuff over here, we have to be careful. And so this is the final, once again the water is actually bugging out my screen, so if you see white lines, it's from the water. Does this actually lead somewhere? I'm actually kind of curious to see where that leads to. Is there something back there? Guys, this is survivalist difficulty without the NPCs, just because we have a great gun. We are winning. I say until we see one of those zombies that set your life, the burnt dudes. Those of you don't know, the feral burnt. So if he's on fire and he's a burnt zombie, then it means he is going to set your life if he touches you. I'm kind of curious as to why I'm doing so much damage. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm clearing this place so fast and they're not really seeing me. Or hearing me. I know this side. This is not even the, the hidden stashes. How do I get there? I am so lost right now. At least my drone will be able to help me carry stuff. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Where's that room with all the loot? We haven't even gotten to the main room yet. I think we just came from this direction over here. Hopefully if I scream or something comes, my uh, turrets, my drones, <laughs> my NPC, oopsie, will take care of them for me. I think the main room was where these zombies came from earlier. But they're all coming from over here somewhere. Man, this place is huge. It's so easy to get lost in this place. Okay, yeah, you can see there's still a ton of zombies back there. Um, now, how do I get that side? I definitely missed, I think, like a fork in the road or something. I'm 
hoping there's no more sleepers down here. It's getting dark now because it's nighttime outside. So this has gotten way more dangerous for me now. Because not only are the zombies faster at nighttime, but also it's so dark you can't really tell what's going on over here. I have to double make sure that I actually clear the zombies out before I continue. Now I turn right. I turned left the first time. No, it's not over here. It is down this side. I think I'm going the wrong way again. This place is way too big. I need to get to the final room so I can start looting the boxes. There are so many hidden uh, hidden chambers and stuff. And the boxes I'm referring to is there's actually a ton of um, hardened chests and stuff back here in the final room. But now we just have to get there first. I think I just have to keep going this way. I can see the final room... Yeah, we've been there at the back. So we need to go to that room over there, which means we just have to keep going over here. I'm finally there. It's a shame the NPCs aren't here with me now. Yeah, we've already cleared this room out, so it was super, super close. I think it's this very small entryway over here somewhere. The final room is literally on the other side of this wall, but I can't remember exactly how to get there. Seems you can go the other way around. I'm just gonna break through the wall. I mean, we have the auger, right? There's a little bit of a hole that I see. If I break through, yeah. What the hell? It's pushing me back when I try and walk. Oh, there you go. This feels like it just leads back outside. Am I in the- yeah, I think I'm supposed to go through this tunnel over here. But for some reason it feels like there's a missing room. It might just be because it's so dark that I can't really tell where the door is. But there's supposed to be a door over here that leads to that room. I, yeah, I think I'm supposed to be uh Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be now. Now I have to be careful because now the zombies are going to be faster. Need to make sure they can't flank me from behind as well now. Look how full it is of here. That's a lot of zombies. At least not all of them are waking up right now. Oh, you guys are here with me. Yay! Okay, we can do this together. I might lose an NPC now. There's just that many zombies down here. There's all the crawlers down here. It seems it's this uh, this one's uh, weakness. Guys, the amount of damage we're doing with this gun. Just now, as I shot in this cor uh, corridor over here, I hit so many zombies at the same time. You guys can deal with the weak ones, right? There's still a crawler there, go kill it. I've done the most of the work, now you guys can do some work as well. Bow lady, go help her. Okay. Okay, so we have to be careful now guys, there's so much loot hidden all over. I'm just gonna do, uh, do this. Check behind as well. Nice, come on, give me some legendary guns and stuff as well.
Okay, uh, yeah, I'm not supposed to be here. I wonder if I was supposed to break through this clay to be able to get to them. But I can't remember it having uh, been that way before. I think all the zombies have been taken care of, so we should be safe back here. At least if our NPCs can follow us into this room, we should be even more safe. I think... Let's do that. Every time I find one that needs lockpicking, we're going to do that. So I can just focus on looting these first, and then I can go and lockpick everything after. I'm hoping my lucky looter skill is all the way maxed. I don't remember where the lucky looter skill is, though, so I'm going to have to go and look for it quickly. Sledges and stuff. Field blocks, all the stuff is unlocked as far as I'm aware. Reusables, that's ammo. Grandpa's learning elixir. Okay, a moonshine we don't really need. I don't know what that is for. Benefits, where is my lucky loot? I think it might be under one of the classes. Minus 69 is maxed. It doesn't seem like lucky loot is here, so it has to be under one of the classes. Mining tools, tungsten crowbar, charging comfort, come on, where are you, where are you, where are you? I'm gonna go help my NPCs as well because it seems they're a little bit dumb when it comes to killing. Okay, so now our loot bonus is all the maxed. Can I do this one a bit more? No. Okay, yeah, uh, so we should be able to get the best of the best loot out of these. Um... Master, we are not alone. Look at this. One, two, three, four hardened chests over here that I have to open up. My NPCs are down here with me, so who's taking damage upstairs? It sounds like another melee one. I'm just gonna do this so I can see all of the containers. There are so many of these ones that need the lock picking. It's awesome. The more of them there are, obviously the more loot we get. I think the exit is actually very close by to the severe, so I need to be careful as well. Okay, let's loot everything quickly. Uh, I think I'm going to cut away. I'm quickly going to unlock these chests over here, and then if I get more, I'll catch you guys back. I must be wondering what upstairs with all that noise. Okay. If something attacks me right now, I'll get you guys back. But first things first, we need to lockpick all of these. Okay, so I have unlocked all of these. And I just realized as well, I am way, way over my time. Like, uh, I'm going to have to cut this episode in two. That's how much I'm over time. I didn't even realize at the time. Guys, I sometimes, like I said, sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, I have to record. And then before I know it, I'm like way, 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 way over time. I'm like, oh, wow, damn. Okay, this geode you open up and you get some resources as well out of it. It's like a lucky charm or lucky egg full of stuff. Okay, grab all that. I'm not going to have enough space for all of this stuff. Drone, do you have space on you? Okay, so let's put the guns in there. The sooner I can get this drone, it's a storage thing, the better. And I need to see if I can't get HD armor like this for all my clothing pieces. All the HD mods have to go on clothing. Technically, to save some space, I can do this. Now, when I put this on the drone, it's like four things at once they put on there. Okay, so that's full stacks of ammo. It's not really full, but that's actually almost a... St uh, okay, there's some over here. Okay, so yeah, um, sort this. That's all space we have left. But with there being this many boxes that I still haven't looted, we are definitely going to have to start using the NPCs as well for some storage space. So all of these have been looted on this side. But you guys, sometimes I get so into the game that I forget the time. And before I realize, I'm like, oh no, now I have to go split. You know how much effort it is to split the episode? Because I'm also going to have to make a, a custom intro because the accident went over time. Rebar bender. Um, drink and eat. Scrap. 
Okay, my food is super, super low. So if I have something I can eat, I should actually eat that. Steel hoe. Nicole's treasure map. We might actually be able to read Nicole's treasure map for some space. Okay, these should be all the boxes, guys. I might actually have missed a few now. Because like I said, this time around, I actually got turned around a lot. Like, I can't believe I lost track of where I was supposed to be heading that easily. You're supposed to come through here and there's a, uh, like, uh, uh, yeah, there's a... Uh, this over here you get through here. But getting to this, this spot exactly, I got lost. Okay, so as you guys can see, this says War of the Walkers. This is where the exit is. So you go, I think, over here. And then you can go up over here, I think. Let me just see where I am. There's still some sleepers in the tunnels. Uh, you know, let me just quickly kill them while, yeah, it's free XP. Okay, but we're not supposed to go this way. Now the NPCs might actually block us in. They can get annoying like that. I'm so full already. They're above us right now, so where's the exit over here? Yeah, this leads outside. Hello. Oh wow, they're actually digging into the wall quite nicely over there. They really got into that wall a lot, like far. Okay, so we definitely have to go drop some stuff off at the base, unfortunately. Um, I want to go do that buried... Let's just do the buried supplies. I might have enough space on me. Thrown over here. Hmm. Yeah, I might just have to drop a few things then on... Oh, wait, I can do this. Uh, that's 15, 16, 17. So I have a few slots. We, we should be able to get ready with this, right? I'm gonna go do the buried supplies, go hand it in, or go uh, drop some stuff, then do these, and then come back to the trade over here. But yeah, guys, since I went over time, um, I'm gonna have to cut this episode in half, but sometimes the problem is, uh, if you do it, you leave, uh, sometimes leave it like on a cliffhanger or something, and it really gets hard editing that. I also have to do a custom uh, intro because usually I say, hey guys, welcome back to... And because I have to cut the episode, now there's no there's no outro uh, for the uh, for the first one, and there's no uh, intro for this alive. episode. So I think you already... I, I don't even have to mention all this because you would have seen it already in the intro. Wait, where am I going right now? I'm gonna go for this first. Okay, oopsie! Okay, I made the tunnel way bigger than I thought. I thought my NPCs are gonna deal with him, but I made this hole so big that I started getting hit from, be uh, from behind. Incoming enemies. Did I break too many blocks? Remember, every five blocks it shrinks. Yeah, there's a lot of zombies. Ooh, okay, this was a lot. That's a problem with the auger, guys. The auger can break so many blocks. Remember, every five blocks it shrinks. So the auger broke so many blocks just now. I wasn't keeping track of how far uh, it's uh, gotten destroyed so, uh, as of yet. Damn. Okay, that could have been bad to my NPCs. They almost died just now. Now it says return to trade. All we have to go, uh, go do is first drop the stuff off at the base. But damn. There's a circle I think sh uh, shrunk like four times and I wanted to grab the loot. But I forgot that every five times it shrinks, spawn zombies. I was wondering why there uh, was so much noise. All of a sudden I just got smacked from behind. There wasn't even enough time to just really pause the game and then uh, like do this and then unpause the recording. Okay, I just realized we don't have a normal battery, so we still can't make the 4x4. But at least, guys, I went and separated all the ammo. So now we have ranged weapons, melee weapons, weapon parts and mods, uh, sledge turrets, drones, auto ammo, handgun ammo, that is 0.44 and 9 mil. Uh, shotgun ammo and arrows, explosives and ammo parts and fire stuff via. On this side, I separated tools, parts and mods, uh, power tools. I put nail guns there as well. Normal tools and then bench tools, heavy armor, light armor, armor parts and mods, and clothes and die. So this way we just have more space to work with as well. Uh, I'm going to go sell this to the trader, but first things first. Let's quickly go finish these last two quests. I'm hoping we can do it still in the time we have left. As I think the reason I went so far over time accidentally is the fact that I went to the shops with my brother. And then when I came back, 
I was already 16 minutes in, which means I only had to record 12 minutes. And before I knew it, it was already 52. <laughs> so I really have to keep a, a, a pay attention to the time, not just what kind of quest it is. I keep failing the fetch and uh, clear quest because I'm not paying attention. And then also I keep going over time because I'm just that into the game. That's how much I love this game. Before I know it, the time's already way, 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 way up. Uh, do you need to range any normal vehicle to come across just in case there's a battery inside? Although I don't think you get a battery for this last stage, do you? Not as far as I'm aware. Oh, just a shell again. Okay, we're just gonna go guns blazing. Technically, you don't have to loot anything over here. Just to make sure we get this place My done. My senses have picked up something. Hello? Oh, I was wondering where the hell's that... Oh. I heard the... We're vomiting and then nothing further. Ooh, that's bad. You are a bad one. Damn, shot him through the door. Oh, she's on fire because of that dude. working oh no I drank it accidentally oh I'm hoping I have the other glass on okay we have the XP mod that I put on my uh, auger as well I took the the structural mod off so unfortunately that means um, it's gonna break faster but I'm getting XP for breaking stuff now as well we can get duct tape for clearing all of these but we only have to do what fetch and clear fetch is over here I just have to clear Okay, so which side is next? It feels weird not grabbing all the loot, but we don't really need all the loot. Okay, return to trader, just like that. Of course, you looted the last thing without the right glasses on, but I am in a hurry to quickly do these two quests. And go also hand these quests in. Okay, lady, watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, cobble. Guys, there's so much cobble over here, I should really be gra grabbing it, but I just don't have the time right now. I went a little bit way, 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 way over time with the other episode. Now to split these is going to be tough. I want to make sure if we at least finish these quests, hand them in, and then we can call it an episode. Or well, we can call it two episodes. Okay, watch me speed clear this. This is a fetch and quest. Uh, fetch and clear. The fetch seems to be downstairs in the bunker. Literally just gonna run through like this. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Guys, there's so much um, scrap and stuff over here that we can get. The beds, the, the, the... Everything over here has stuff that we need. The beds can give us more springs, and then, oh yeah, there's just a lot of stuff we can actually get over here. Come on, ladies, move, move, move. I want to see how fast I can actually clear this place out. A lot of loot, but not enough time to loot everything. Oh, no, 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 no. Watch out. These dumb NPCs. They're super duper duper dumb. They keep getting hit by the zombies. I'm trying to see if me running like this will wake up zombies instead of me having to do this. Some zombies might not wake up for me just running through like this. Come on. Go do the bunker first and we'll do the upstairs. Okay, we jump down here, we go through here. I have bad memories of this place in Ways UK with all the titans and stuff. I think I was also playing insane difficulty or something, and yeah, look at all the radiators over there. Hello, hello. 
Make sure that I don't accidentally destroy the end loot. Okay, not gonna lie, this dude looks creepy as hell. Parasite, whoops. Okay, so I think I accidentally did Oh, damn it, this thing has spread. I accidentally destroyed the loot of here next to this thing. Okay, so we still have to fetch. The fetch is... V at the back. Now we just have to clear the space. All I have to do is kill, 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 kill. We have the final stash, so we just have to go from there. And so we came from that room over there. Now we just keep moving up. If we go all the way to the roof and then fall down into the rooms. I don't know, I've also actually seen a vulture over here. Hopefully when I've uh, killed enough, it's going to show me exactly where the rest are. Now we fall in here. My only threat at the moment is a zombie that's on fire. Because he can set us on fire as well, so that's a big, big danger. Come on. But still, there's a, there's a blue marker on the map as well for a zombie. I wonder what does a blue marker mean. Watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I wonder if the blue marker means like on a different level than me. Okay, we have to go down over here. I don't know where we've been and where we haven't been yet. That's the problem right now. I've got a bad feeling about this. The problem is, I have no idea where to go right now. We ran through here, we ran through here, we're supposed to go through here. It shows there's a red marker behind us, but I don't know exactly where behind us it is. We already did this side, we're supposed to go do this side now. Make out where that is. I hear noise over here. It sounds like it's above us, but it's not above us, is it? It doesn't show up or down for the zombies, unfortunately. Return to trader. Oh, okay, she was right here. Okay, now that you guys are standing where you're standing, let's go see. We should be able to get double rewards now because I invested well, in that all the way. I've got the best selection of medicine in we'll the accept wasteland. quests, like I said guys, we always accept quests after we uh, handed everything in. Great that way you know you don't, uh, don't accidentally do the same one and the same PI twice. Otherwise you have to re-log just to be able to get access to the next quest. Otherwise you have to go hand the one quest in at the traders well, and then go all the way back there. Of lag, okay. Anything you did it. One pound, one point Kevin. something. Oh, okay. Sell that one. Your money is welcome here. One point four, one point two. Okay, I'm just gonna call it episode yeah, and next time we can I, I'm gonna go, go sort my inventory a bit. Next time we're gonna sell a few things. And then yeah, we just have to keep on exploring, keep on having fun. I, I'm thinking of going looking for the wasteland as well. Almost level 300. I'm 297. Nice. Hey guys, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave them below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. 
See you guys next time for some more War of the Walkers fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.